Hi everyone, welcome to episode 9 of the Brett Beard Show, sponsored by James Restaurant. I'm Cooper Burrell, as always, Coach Beard. How you doing, Coach? I'm, uh, I'm pretty good. How about you? I'm pretty good. Glad coach. to have you back again this week. Yes, sir. You know, Coach, you came off of a t- tough loss to EA. Just tell me about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, it came down to the uh, last couple minutes, and uh, one team made plays and one team did not. One team made mistakes and one team did not. And uh, when you have opportunities to put good teams away, you you got to uh, you got to make the best of those opportunities. You got to get it done. And if you don't get it done, you get into that that battle we were in, and uh, some breaks were made and some plays were made, and uh, they got us. All right, let's get into these highlights. Jackets take the field at EA ready for their big game against EA. You know, a smaller cra- crowd this week, Coach, uh, at least on the field, because you only took three buses. Yep, we wanted to uh, be more business-like. Jackets quarterback, Reese Mooney, rolls left, passes to number three, Cameron Irick, who makes a move and gains a few yards after the catch. Reese Mooney passes to number seven, Micah Harrison, for the first down. A good pass and catch by the offense there. A field goal, bad snap, number 48, Caleb LeBlanc. Kick is no good, 0-0. EA's ball, quarterback number one, back to pass deep, broken up by number 15, Jonas Clark. You know, coach, a great play by 15 there. Jackets ball, number one, Reese Mooney, play action, finds number seven, Micah Harrison, for a big gain over the middle. Spartans ball, number one, hands off to number 22, who is tackled by number two, Lamar Smith. Coach, tell me about Lamar here making a big play for the defense. Yeah, Lamar's a guy we got to get ready to play a lot quicker. You know, he's uh, went through some eligibility and uh, some injuries, and now he's got to play, and he's got to get in shape quick, and he's going to be a huge addition to our defense. Second quarter now, Denham's ball, number one, Mooney, pass, uh, sorry, first down, pass to number 13, Lino Dawson. Number one, Mooney, play action, throws to number 17, Harrison, who makes a great catch on the sideline. Just an amazing catch by Micah there, Coach. Yeah, Harrison's really hitting stride now. Third and long now, number one, Mooney, screens to number five, Ray McNeely. Not enough for the first down, though. Jackets try for a field goal, number 48 from LeBlanc. Off the upright, no good. Stool 0-0. Zero, zero. Number one hands off to number 22, blown up in the backfield by number eight, Hayden Rushing, and number 10, Jed Cambry. EA, number one, passes, passes intercepted by number six, Deshaun McBride, and returned into the Spartans territory. This would be McBride's seventh pick of the year, Coach. Tell me about this. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, he's a special player. He's getting better every week, you know, and that's, uh, he's a guy we got to have. I mean, he's got to continue to grow and continue to get better and more and more comfortable as he is, and uh, you can see plays are being made. Yeah, Deshaun's a special player. I mean, here he is making another big play, another big pick. Uh, you know, he's a kid that gets better every week. Really excited about uh, where he's going and what he's doing, and, you know, we got to have him continue to do this. For us to be successful, he's got to keep playing out of his mind like he is, and uh, I'm loving this uh, meteoric rise this kid is on. Number one, Mooney hands it off to number four, Cam Kelly, who punches it in, scores for Denham, 7-0. Coach, tell me about the offense here, finally getting in, putting yeah, Denham up. you got to take advantage of the short field. you got to get the job done right there. I mean, we had struggled in the red zone uh, to this point and getting points on the board, uh, so this had to be done. I mean, there was no way around it. The defense gives you that situation, and you don't finish this drive, we're in a whole different, <laughs> we got a whole different set of problems. So, uh, great job by number four finishing this run and uh, getting the points on the board. Love the finish by Ford McDaniel right there. Helmet off and all, nasty. That's what we're waiting on, our O-line to get nasty again. Student section was absolutely hyped up after the score, seeing the drone capturing them. EA's ball, quarterback number one under pressure and sacked by number eight, Hayden Rushing. A great play by Rushing there. Third quarter, EA's ball, third and long, number one passes, pa- pass is deflected by number three, Cameron Irick, and caught by number two for a first down. Coach, tell me about this here. Look, this is one of those plays, the, the plays you, you got to get the ball on the ground, you know, uh, bat it down and not bat it up, because if it goes up, they still have a chance to make the play, and once again, here you go, you talk about EA making plays, they made the plays and we did not. EA, 
EA's ball again, number one hands off to number 22 who runs it left for a first down inside the red zone. Just a great play by EA there. Third and goal, number one passes to number five, but it falls incomplete. EA field goal attempt, initial called no good. Refs discuss, discuss it here and change it to good. 7-3 Jackets. Which was the right call. Jackets punting, a bad snap, but number three, Irish picks it up, and up the ball and runs it close to a first down. No, he got the first down. It was a big pickup. I mean, we've had two two bad snaps in a in a, in a row that have uh, that Irik has made a play with his feet and given us a chance, and that was a, a heck of a play. Heads up by him. Number one, Reese Mooney passes it to number seven, Micah Harrison. Another great play by Micah there. Spartans ball, quarterback number one under pressure pressure scrambles and is tackled by number 24, Eli DiGeronimo, and number 10, Jack Cambry. Fourth quarter now, number one Mooney hands it off to number five McNeely who runs for a first down. A great play by five there. Mooney takes the pass and pass takes the snap and passes to number seven Harrison, makes the move and runs for another first. Denim is forced to settle for another field goal. Another bad snap, number 18 Jerry Horn picks it up and tries to make a play but falls incomplete. Turnover on down. Coach, tell me about this. Well, I mean, that's <laughs> poor execution by special teams, and, uh, and you know, again, we're sitting here because we lost because of it. You know, that was actually the, the really the bad snap. The other two were on the hip of the, of the uh, holder, and uh, they're chip shots. We're not asking them to make a 50-yard field goal. EA's ball, third and long, number eight, Hayden Russian, hits quarterback after the whistle flags on the play. First down, Spartans. Selfish penalties are killer. EA, number... EA's quarterback, number nine, hands it off to number 22, who runs it right for a big game, first down. Third down, number nine, hands off to number one, stuffed by the Jackets' defense. Just a great play by the defense there. Late in the fourth quarter, fourth down, EA, number nine, first down pass to number three to move the chain. EA with the ball now. Number nine passes it to number 13, gets inside the 10, Spartans near the goal line. Third down, EA's quarterback number one keeps it and scores 10-7, Spartans with, with two minutes left in the game. Coach, tell me about this here. Yeah, uh, I mean, you like it. Tough, tough play right there. You know, back is against the wall. Uh, you you got to do your job, you got to build that wall, and you can't let them uh, get penetration, and they did, and they, they finished the drive right there, uh, a drive that we helped them sustain because of penalties. Jackets need a drive, third and long. Number one, Mooney finds number seven, Harrison, who gets a first down. A great play by Micah there. Mooney hands off to number five, McNeely, who runs it who runs for another big game. Jackets near midfield. Next play, Mooney screens, but passes, passes intended for number five, McNeely is picked by number 23 and returned for a touchdown, 17-7 EA. Coach, tell me about this interception. Really a, uh, being a well-executed two-minute drill up until the point where we have a lazy throw and a lazy route. Uh, you know, both, both here, uh, a lazy route, not getting them out in time. A lazy throw, not getting it over the, the, the defensive lineman. What a dream play by a D lineman. And it comes down to them making plays and us not making plays. And that's what we're looking for at Denham Springs, are warriors that are going to get the job done. Yes, sir. This is just so hard to watch to that happening, Coach. Yeah, I mean, they, they beat us the last two minutes. Jackets get the ball again, down 10. Turnover on downs in the, ends the game. Final score, EA 17, Denim 7. Jackets fall to two, uh, six and two. Stats, Reese Mooney 18 for 31 passing, 208 yards, one interception. Cam Kelly, nine carries, 60 yards, one touchdown. Micah Harrison, 10, 10 receptions, 130, 133 yards. Coach, I want to ask you about the special team team's issues. 
Yeah. You know, we had three missed field goals. Look, I mean, we've been really good. Uh, you know, all year we've hit a little patch right here. Sometimes you just let the, the mental part of it get you. Uh, you know, I got all the faith in the world in Eli DiGirolamo getting those snaps, and he's had a couple of weeks right here where he's, you know, he struggled a little bit. But uh, we talked yesterday, and all it is, he's getting tired. So he's got to learn how to snap while tired. It's not necessarily the pressure, which is easy to correct. You know, I told him yesterday, start snapping after practice, after you've run around for a little bit, and, and get a feel for uh, snapping after being tired, after putting in a day's work. Uh, is really about the only way you can overcome that. And I got all the faith in the world in that kid. I mean, he's a, he's a warrior. Um, he'll get the job done. He'll get it corrected. Uh, you, you know, and so I'm excited to see him him grow up and come back this week. And, you know, really only the, the bad snap was really the third one. The other two were on the hips of the holder. I mean, uh, does it disrupt the timing of the kicker? We can, we can say all this, but I'm a special teams guy. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm not asking you to kick a 40 or 50 yard field goal. You know, it's a chip shot. So that, that all the timing and, and everything is still there, and you got time to get the ball up and over the, the line of scrimmage. And we got to make those kicks. And, and I know Caleb LeBlanc wants to make those kicks, and I know he can make those kicks. Uh, it's just got to be done. And uh, you, you get late in the year and you get in the playoffs, is, there's no excuse for this. We, you know, the job's got to get done because when we score these points, we win the football game. If we don't, you can see where we're at. Yes, sir, the offense was unable to score in the last two games yeah. in the second half. Tell me about that. Yeah, coach. I mean, we scored one touchdown in the last game and a half. I mean, we got to look at ourselves as coaches. I mean, uh, and if you're not, then shame on you as coaches. Uh, now, do we know when you go back and watch, there's some execution problems and some mistakes being made? Absolutely. I mean, they're, they're your kids playing the game of football. But, but us as coaches, it's our job to get it corrected. And if we're not going to correct it, it's going to continue to be a problem, and we're only going to see better defenses going forward. So, uh, you know, it's on us as coaches to, to grow up and look in the mirror. And uh, let's get this thing right, and let's figure out who we want to be and where we want to go with this because, uh, you know, we got a t we got a chance to be special. And uh, it, it ultimately comes down to the job getting done. Coach, the defense was solid but wasn't able to uh, finish some late drives. Tell me about them. No, look, I, at the end of the day, I was really pleased with the way we played and the way our kids played. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you can say one thing about our guys is they, they play Denham Springs football. They play hard for 48 minutes. You, you know, we made some critical mistakes there to keep the drive alive. The one selfish penalty was killer because it was a third and long, and they'd called a timeout, and we're getting off the field. We're going to get off the field right there. I mean, uh, uh, we we all believe that, and we all know that. But uh, you can't you can't continue to make mistakes that are that are I mean, really they they keep drives alive in critical times for the for your opponent. I mean, you you got to play a clean game of football, and you know we we've gotten sloppy, and that's on me. And I can promise you, I'll get it cleaned up. Coach, tell me about Deshaun. He's just been a great player. That was his seventh pick of the year. Tell me about him. Well, I mean, he comes to work every day. He keeps his mouth shut. He keeps his head down. He gets better every day. You know, I ask you all to do something that you all can do. I'm asking you this much better every day. The little bit you put into it, you can leave every day a little bit better, a, a, a little more excited about the process, bought into the process. You, you know, if you do this, why not do it to be the best you can be and be the best player you can be? And uh, when you do that, well, then ultimately you got a chance there to, to grow and, and be as good as you, as you want to be. And uh, that's what he's taking advantage of. Coach, I want to talk about Dutchtown. Uh, what do they do well? How are you preparing for it? Well, I mean, they're really good uh, defensively. This could be probably one of the better defenses we've seen uh, all year. I mean, they haven't been scored on in district yet. So I'm excited to see if our coaches are ready for that challenge and to, to get our guys, get y'all ready to play against that. Because uh, I'm excited about this challenge. Uh, I love the job Chris Harrell does as a defensive coordinator at Dutchtown, and I, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what he has for us and see if our guys can go up against him. Um, you know, I, I, their O-line play is very strong. The little quarterback is a great athlete and uh, can beat you with his arm, but more importantly, can beat you with his legs. And uh, they, they figured out something where uh, offensively they're scoring points, and uh, right now they're having a lot of success, and, and they're getting better, and uh, they score points. I mean, it's plain and simple. The name of the game is finish drives and score points, and that's what they're doing. So. It's going to be a huge test for us, and, and we got to be better. Yes, sir. Uh, can I get an injury update on uh, Alex Chandler? Uh, he's still going through all his, uh, his uh, evaluations and everything else. I, I'm going to venture to say uh, if everything checks out at the end of the week, we uh, hope to have him back next week. Yes, sir. Uh, what are the keys for Denham winning the game against Dutchtown? Well, we gotta, we got to be sound. we got to play our game, and uh, we got to limit the mistakes. Uh, that's mental errors. That's mental busts. That's uh, selfish penalties. And uh, we got to finish drives. Thank you, Coach, for joining me. I'm Cooper Burrell. Thank you, for our, thank you to our sponsors, James Restaurant, for sponsoring this episode. The next game is against Dutchtown at Live Oak on a Thursday night. It is senior night. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.